In example two, we're asked to find the equation of the tangent lines of this function, where x is pi over three. And so we would differentiate two cos x and get uh, two times the derivative of cos x is negative sine x, so our derivative is negative two sine x. And so to find the slope of the tangent line, we, diff we substitute pi over three in place of x, and that's what this unit circles for, there's the pi over three. Uh, remember that it goes um, cos x sine x. So the sine of pi over three is the root three over two. Cos x first, sine x second. So the sine of pi over three is root three over two. That's its exact value. Now those twos will divide out. And so we just get negative root three. So that's the slope of the tangent line. So here's our equation. But of course, we need the y value. So we substitute pi over three back in place of x in our original function. And so the cos of pi over three would be two times a half, which of course is one. And so we can substitute the values in. So negative root three is m. Uh, the y value is one. And of course, x is pi over three. Now, if we expand this out, negative root three times x is negative root three x. Negative root three times negative pi over three is negative well, actually, it's positive. Negative times negative is a positive, and then pi times the root of three over three. And then I'll solve for y. I'll write in y equals y equals mx plus b four. I'll bring the one over. So it's the negative root three x plus pi over pi root three over three, and then of course plus the one. We add one to both sides to get that one on the right side. So that's the equation of our tangent line.